Denver has let in so many illegal aliens into their city, you know, because it's a border town, not that they're broke. So where are they going to get the $8 million they need to house, clothe, educate, and provide health care for all these illegals? Well, first of all, in Denver, they're not illegals. They're newcomers, and they're cutting the police department to give the money to the newcomers. Will Johnson, don't move to Denver in case you were thinking about it. The mayor there is, oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. The guy's name is Mike Johnson. Guess his political affiliation. You think it over, might take you a bit. Um, (laughs) They have a new spending package for, for the Denver area. They're cutting the police department's budget. Crime's bad, but they're cutting the police department by $8 million dollars because they have to support our newcomers. Remember last week we were trying to think up all the new names they're calling the felons that broke into the country, you know, undocumented guests, visitors, blah, blah, blah. Well, Mike Johnson calls them newcomers. And because crime's a mess, um, he's cutting the police department. It makes total sense. So he can fund more housing food, education, and health care for the newcomers in Denver, okay? They had 5,000 people living in shelters. They had $15 million a month in support for these people. He said, now we have a a sustainable package to support them because we just took the money away from the police to give it to the newcomers. If you happen to live in Denver... How would you feel about less cops, less cop hiring, less cop training, but much better services for the newcomers? If I lived in Denver, I would really, really look at getting out of Denver. I mean, immediately. It's like getting out of New York, escape from New York. Yeah, yeah. What's the point? So they're taking money from the law enforcement, police officers, and they're giving them to criminals. They're giving the money to criminals. Who said crime didn't pay? Obviously, it does pay. And yes, they are criminals because they've already broken the law. They've already broken the law by coming here without documents, just coming into the country. But they're looking the other way and just saying that they're newcomers, right? Newcomers, really? Newcomers that are taking up resources from Americans that have worked hard, bled, sweat, and even died so that we can have the freedoms, have the rights that we have today, and they're just being ripped away from them right before their very eyes. Like, like you and and I, it's no surprise. We're talking about Denver. Yeah, like you and I have talked about it. The, these new names for things, you know, if you rename stuff, it doesn't sound so bad. You know, bank robber. Right, newcomers. Uh, yeah, bank robber becomes um, unauthorized withdrawal from your bank, right? Um, they've got <laughs> names for everything. Squatters are unhomed people, Right. Uh, it's as if we're living in this, like you hold up the book every week, 1984. It's true. Keep it here. Brother, it's come, it's come true. You know, we're living in the twilight zone, Barry. We're living in the twilight zone. Everything is upside down. You know, everything is upside down. And and for them, it looks right. See, I put the upside down. The eye still looks like, you know, still looking at you no matter which way. But you know, it's upside down. They don't care any longer. Everything that is wrong in the country, they've elevated it. And if you are a hardened criminal and they ride all across the country, they'll even create a statue for you. <laughs> even you're, though you're a criminal. I mean, this and they're bringing the, the criminals into the country and they're making an easy pathway for them. Tell them they don't have to worry about anything. Don't even have to work or nothing. We'll just put money on the card for you. We'll give you housing, et cetera, et cetera. And the squatters, Barry, I'd never in my entire life. If you're an American citizen, Barry, and they found out that you went to some house and you're just occupying it and, the cop, and they called the cops, the cops are going to remove you because you're an American citizen. But if they find out that you're legal, mm, we got to look at this and see if, you know, we, we need to reevaluate this. Except in Florida, the homeowner will shoot you and the sheriff will high five you when he calls the coroner to take the body away. It's all that is like true. Florida has become its own country where 
things still make sense and the law counts and the sheriff is on your side and the city council is on your side and the school board is on your side and the governor was going to kick Disney out for being woke in his state. <laughs> and, and you go to Denver and you go to Denver. Ah, who needs cops? Well, what we really need is more money for our visitors. Like they're coming right. and going. Right. Unbelievable. Right. Right.